You may have heard what it is that Representative Ocasio-Cortez said about the border and a connection to concentration camps, but I don't know if you heard what she said or what she meant. And when I heard this story yesterday, I once again went to the basic spot. The Holocaust is not a prop. Yeah, it goes with the emojis that you sometimes see on Twitter. I had to speak in Representative Ocasio-Cortez's language um, because she doesn't speak the language of decency. She doesn't speak the language of historical fact. She speaks of the language of hate and Trump derangement syndrome. And so it requires a little bit of clapback. Tony Katz, 93 WIBC, Facebook, Tony Katz Radio. Be sure to like the page. The argument still holds, and it goes without question, that personal attacks against Representative Ocasio-Cortez are an absolutely terrible idea. When people attacked what she was, what she was wearing or, or, or what she looks like, absolutely ridiculous. They don't work, and they're wrong. But on policy, she's fair game, and she has made herself fair game. Her continued love of the Green New Deal, her her rational and anti-growth view of of the minimum wage and this insistence on the belief in the mythology of the living wage, her horrific associations with, like, world-renowned anti-Semite UK Labor Party leader Jeremy Corbyn, right? And then her her bragging about that and her defense of anti-Semitism and anti-Semite up-and-comer Representative Ilhan Omar— All fair game. They're worthy of comment and they're worthy of derision, which is kind of stunning because this is a woman who was at one time, just like six months ago, pure Teflon, man. Everything just slid all right off. You couldn't criticize her about anything. But because of her own doing, all that has worn off. Everything sticks to her now. Every last little bit of it. And this last one is a video she made for Facebook Live, where she says that the U.S. is keeping immigrants in concentration camps. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border, and that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. And um, if that doesn't bother you, I don't... I got, I like, we can have, okay, whatever. I want to talk to the people that are concerned enough with humanity to say that we should not, that never again means something. First, uh, if you're going to do a video, you might want to be prepared to have a conversation and not sound like you're having a team beat slumber party. That is how she sounds. Oh, right there. She went on to then make the claim that immigrant children were moved to the internment camps where the Japanese were held during World War II. And she actually referred to it as the earliest 20th century, I assume because she doesn't know the dates of World War II. So let's start with the end. Yes, children are being held at the border and others were sent to Fort Sill. Fort Sill during World War II was used as an internment camp that held Japanese Americans. And it's the same exact Fort Sill that was used by the Obama administration to hold immigrants. It's being used to hold immigrants because the border situation is simply impossible. We need to put these people somewhere. In the month of May, 133,000 people were apprehended. And they need to be put somewhere because people like Representative Ocasio-Cortez refuse to do their job. Rather, they want to make these kinds of ridiculous videos. But let's... I mean, maybe she didn't know that the Obama administration used Fort Sill as well. Maybe she purposefully edited it. I have no idea. But the thrust of her conversation is a conversation about the Holocaust, is a, is a conversation about the systematic murder of Jews and the elimination of European, if not the, the totality of Jewry. When you use the expression never again, which is the expression used about the Holocaust to ensure we always remember, what else could you mean by concentration camps? She actually wants to get into this idea and had a back and forth with Representative Republican uh, Liz Cheney that there's a difference between a concentration camp and, and a death camp. You can't pull that stuff on us. What, you're, you're from Queens? You think you know it all? 
Uh, born in Brooklyn, grew up in Jersey. I see right through that. The people of Indiana who were born and bred here or the lucky ones like myself who get to live here, we all see through it. Of course you wanted to make a connection to the Holocaust. It's a lie. There are no concentration camps at the border. It isn't a misspeak. It isn't a bad analogy. It is a lie. It diminishes the horror of the Holocaust and it's excused as acceptable because when you hate Donald Trump, Everything is okay. Everything is fair game. The Holocaust is not a prop. Six million people murdered isn't a prop for your hate. And it's not enough that we notice it. It is only enough that we speak up aggressively against it. I have seen rabbis in Indianapolis write op-eds about Mike Pence. Oh, they were not happy with Mike Pence on RIFRA. Oh, they were not happy with Mike Pence on this, that, or the other. I better see some op-eds about Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and this absolute disgusting utilization of the Holocaust to move their political agenda because clearly they believe the ends justify the means. It doesn't matter if you denigrate or diminish the horrors of the Holocaust as long as it attacks Trump. Good by us. It's not acceptable, and I want to see the rabbis uh, individually or in unison. The faith leaders of Indianapolis individually or in unison say this is unacceptable. Why can't I get that? I don't know. Maybe I don't get to get other people to do what I want, but I sure as hell am going to note when they don't. I'm going to note when they fail, all of us and fail to recognize one of the most horrific actions now going on. Representative Ocasio-Cortez is not the only politico who has been proactive and aggressive in utilizing the Holocaust as a prop. But we're going to call her out for it. And more than that, because calling her out is the silly little social media expression. Who is she? Why would you accept this? Why would we all, as Americans, accept this level of disgusting Oh, but Trump did this. Would you stop it? Would you stop it? Would you stop being silly for five minutes? If you want to say Trump this, that, and the other, feel free. It doesn't take away from what Representative Ocasio-Cortez did. She lied to America about what's going on on the border, a situation she can fix as part of that direct democracy in the House. 435 votes she can start today, and she doesn't. Rather, she goes to a video, and she goes to a video to tell you there's a concentration camp on the border. When that isn't true, it's a lie, and it's a lie built because she hates Donald Trump more than she has her own humanity. How dare she talk about humanity? How dare the faith leaders of Indianapolis and the rabbis of Indianapolis and America stay silent in the face of this? The Holocaust is not a prop. Glad we got that understood. Kevin Henry has traffic. What's going on, Kevin? 70 uh, westbound on the...